Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the reality of owning a game store and investing in cards and just how savagely bad the idea was that Alpha Investments been promoting. So Alpha Investments, credit to him, he figured out a way to convert people Timmy's. So instead of, you know, buying a box from your local game store, you're going to buy a case, maybe two cases because you're going to pay a monthly fee. So you feel like it's really weird to me that people who pay $10, $15, $100 a month to Rudy Chan have any problems paying for their local game store to sit there. They can sit there and play hours and hours and hours and not buy a single item because they buy everything online and they don't feel bad. And if you ask them, hey, is it okay if we have a membership thing and it costs $10, $15, you know, just like Rudy's patrons, but it would provide you a physical location. It would provide, we would pay the rent, we would pay the overhead, we would pay the uh, internet, the, the heating or the AC will give you internet, it will be a fun TV in the background, it will be a nice environment, we'll have uh, promos for you guys to win. They would throw a hissy, they would blow a casket. And you know most of these players, they would just explode, right? Like if you told them, hey, you had to pay 10 or $15 a month for the right to sit in that chair to play with other people, they would, they would say, no, I'm going to go to a different game store. But it's okay to pay this to some online guy who doesn't give a shit about you and only really is a multi-millionaire who is basically abusing really poor people. And the reason I know that they're poor people and not like business owners and so on, not only is there decisions, I'm in another community. Uh, I'm in the Rolex uh, AP luxury watch community, as you might know from my other channel. And based on that community, when I find a scammer and I'm like, hey, this dude's a scammer, he goes to jail because then evidence comes out and all this really good stuff happens. When I talk about the mana source on this channel, everyone's like, man, that guy's a, he, he's a hero, man. I can't believe he uh, went to so many different conventions on a broken like leg or heart or whatever. Who knows what it is now, right? Like on that channel, they would rip that blow bozo to shreds, right? Like you guys do know he has stole money, right? Like he, he made a fake GoFundMe. As soon as the GoFundMe paid, because it takes a few weeks to pay, as soon as it paid, he was out of here. I can tell you what the scam is. So if the emergency room says you owe half a million dollars, um, they're going to negotiate with you. Probably you end up doing paying maybe 100000 maybe ninety, maybe less. Uh, how do I know this? Well, I work. I used to work for a lot of emergency rooms in Dallas and Houston. So I know that bill, uh, that initial bill that Manosaurus was showing everyone to get the donations was massively overflated. And then he got to cut, basically get to keep the chains and then go to the UK. And then he came back and he tried to do another scam. Like in that community, because the people are more intelligent, they would rip him to shreds. In this community, it's just like, oh, well, he's back. Yeah, everyone watch his videos. Everyone donate to his Patreon again. Um, in this community, like a pump and dumper, which there have been, um, they get away with it. They could get away with their $700 mystery repack box, which, you know, the average value of one of those boxes, probably less than $100. Now the, quote, redemption, right, is expired. Uh, that's not how redemptions work, by the way. They don't have, like, a one-year expiration rate. That's not Panini. Like, these other card games don't have redemptions that expire that soon. And if they actually expire, you can still send it in for other... If they have the card, they'll give you the card. If they don't have the card, they'll give you a selection of what they would deem is value, uh, like value. Now, in terms of like the people waking up, I think the people are waking up. I'm seeing more and more negativity on his YouTube channel. And I, I'm okay dealing with negativity because like it is what it is. I've dealt with negativity on the channel, but he's not. He's freaking out right now. I've heard, I've had emails, text messages. I had a Facebook friend who tells me how much he's freaking out. And he's banning like everybody who has any negative thing to say about him. They're just getting banned. And these are paid patrons, by the way. These are people paying him money. And when you start banning people, you know, I've, I don't think I've ever would have banned. I, I don't have anyone paying me money. But if I had somebody who liked my channel enough to pay me, mem I think I like free members. I would never ban those free members, right? Even if they were saying like crazy. Because they obviously love the channel enough to pay a month, a very large, you know, $10, $1,500 a month is a 
very large monthly fee, guys. And I can prove it to you. Uh, his subscribers are down. Uh, actually, one of uh, my Facebook friends sent me the social blade. His views are down. His subscribers are down. Everything is down. So everyone's thinking, oh, Alpha Investment to the Moon. He's not going to the Moon. The negative comments are up. Um, the subscribers. Uh, he was very fam. Oh, he was very famous to having uh, free six nine subscribers. He now has free six eight thousand subscribers, and he got eleven thousand views, seventeen thousand views on one piece. I mean, I I have a, a video actually. My, I just published it where a patron lost his home investing in Magic the Gathering cards because he believed that it couldn't go down in price. Like, I'm not kidding you. When you talk to some of these people, like, they understand now. Uh, and that's what I'm going to go ahead and say. Like, unless he's trying to make a drama video about bankruptcy, lying, or fraud, you know, kind of that type of video where he's trying to basically drum up negativity towards himself, uh, which eventually will probably bite him in the butt. Um, yeah, he's not getting the type of views. Even his uh, free, I mean, the. 369,000 Q&A question. Um, yeah, he doesn't even have that many subscribers at this moment in time. And that was 13 days ago. So he lost 1,000 subscribers in 13 days, which means he's not trending in the right direction. Yeah, in fact, let me screenshot this stuff because I'm sure that some Rudy Light will be like, oh, that didn't happen. Well, no, it did happen. I'm looking at it right now. In fact, uh, a subscriber just sent it to me. Uh, and I'm just going to confirm it right now. I'll put it at the end of the video. But yeah, things are not going well for the Rudy Chan. I'll put it in the beginning of the video. I think that's fair. Things are not going well for the Rudy Chan. People are unsubscribing. People don't want to deal with this anymore. People are not interested in investing in cardboard no more. Especially, like, this is what it is. Like, people say, oh, he's good for the game. No, he's not. What's good for the game is you buying a box from your local game store. You know, If the box goes down, hey, it's just one box. Right, you're still going to play the next set. Uh, what is not good for the game is a dude telling you to buy upwards of 10 cases of this stuff. So when the box goes down or doesn't move, you're going to quit the game. And you're definitely not going to no local game store to buy no box. You have 10 cases of this stuff at home. There's 60 boxes of this stuff at home. Why would you buy a box? You have like 60 collector's editions at home. And you're not going to socialize, you're not going to go to your local games, or you're not going to do any of this stuff because, let's be honest, you have 60 boxes at home. <laughs> you know, like you've already put the money in. Uh, and then some. So anyway, yeah. Bye, guys.